World Health Organization has predicted that we'll be requiring around 90 million masks every month from now onwards in order to fight the spread of the coronavirus globally. And given the fact that a lot of countries have been facing severe shortages of personal protective equipment, such as face shields, uh, we decided to take action about this. The design for our face shield is actually available online. And many people around the world have been putting out um, various iterations of the design for a, for a headband wearable type of face shield. The design that we ultimately decided to go with had a lot of 90 degree sharp corners. Now these corners are very difficult to sanitize. Uh, and so we had to round off those corners. Face shield has two parts. One is the headband, which helps to fit the shield into the um, head and the uh, transparent sheet that covers the front part from the respiratory droplets. The sheet is made up of PETG material, whereas the headband is made up of polypropylene plastic. We saw that the hazmat suit, the headgears that the doctors and the other uh, hospital staff were wearing, turned out to be a little suffocating. That's what was the feedback that we got. And similarly was the case for the riot gears with policemen. So wearing the whole mask on their face was uh, suffocating and not so comfortable. We designed a face shield which covers your head just with an OHP sheet in front. That gives you two advantages. One, you have a lot more airflow, so that makes it comfortable. And second, it allows the doctors to also use stethoscopes, which is kind of a drawback of the inner hazmat suit. production of uh, frames is made using 3D printers and these, these 3D printers we, are, we have about 30 of them operating and each frame takes about 30 minutes so we are able to produce somewhere around 1500 uh, frames a day and we are looking to increase the production to 2000. Uh, then coming to the next part of assembly we have about five to six people who work in 10 hour shifts and they are able to assemble around 1,800 in 24 hours.